welcome back to my Unreal Unity Open World tutorial series. So in this episode, I'm going to show you uh, how to implement this camera collision detection system so that the camera won't click, uh, camera won't uh, go inside other objects like this, so it will move closer if there is some barrier between the character and the camera. So if there is no barrier, the camera will slowly pull back like this. See, so you don't the camera don't go inside any of the objects at any, at any point if the object has conditions. Okay, so that's what I'm going to cover today. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous person and thank you very much tony for the generous support you are giving me all right so uh, let's see what happens when i when my character go into crouch so it's it's not a disaster and i guess that's fine solve this problem so as you can see when I rotate my camera it goes inside objects like this so it doesn't have any collision detection for the camera so I want the camera to go closer to the character when I look at the character in an angle like this instead of going it through the wall Okay, so let's see how to do that. I have this camera controller attached to the camera socket. Let me open that. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe here. Let's do a line first. For that I'm gonna, I'm gonna need the location of the camera right I create public camera no public I don't need it to be the camera transform let's call it uh, camera Maybe we should call it the camera. That's better. And I need to initialize that variable here. Like this. The person have an error. In the update, So here, as you can see, the camera's local Z value, uh, the local position stays same no matter the rotation I do. So by changing this Z value, I can move closer or further from the character. Right. So I'm going to use that property to draw this system. So let's uh, if V6. Starting position would be transform 
position and ending position would be camera the camera position wait I need to get if there is a hit location I need to know that location too so yeah maybe I should use another way okay let me do it like this this line first we have six overloads oh okay we can use this raycast hit hit info all right mm -hmm. Should I do it in update? Yeah. Okay, so let's create private breakout hit hit. So let's do it like this. Line cast and the starting position is transform position and end is D camera position and then uh, I'll add out hit okay can I can use this function inside like this so this will return true if there is a, an actual hit right so if this is a hit this will return true and then I should set the okay we can get the hit location like this hit point impact point in world space all right so then i have to set the camera dot local position new set three zero and for the z value I'm gonna have to give the direct uh, the distance from the camera socket to the hit point so can I get a length of this we don't have a length here all right so then we have to calculate distance from transform position to hit dot point and this is a vector of course I have to get the magnitude Alright, this is not written in a 
effect it just returns a float value so yeah i don't have to do anything okay this should not be a bracket it should be a equal mark sorry all right else position should be same as the initial local position that means 0 0 minus 3 2 1 3.21 uh, but uh, I think I should store that initial values in some variable so private vector 3 let's say should had this should be always plus and this has to be minus here this has to be minus so I guess I need to add a minus value here all right let's see what happens okay is working out oh, right right okay we have a small problem so once the camera is uh, placed closer to the character then it starts uh, then it doesn't get any hit so it moves back all right so we need to fix it so that's why we get that flickering thing so I have to make sure that I'm always checking uh, the line cast from the original location to the original location from the soccer location. So how to do that? Okay, we can do it like this. Instead of T camera position, we can like this transform dot position plus camera offset. We don't have any scale to the camera here, so only adding the local offset would be enough, should be enough. Right, let's see if I'm correct. Oh, seems not. of the rotation part come before the vector 3 otherwise it won't work so transform local rotation now it should work let's see yeah it is working and it's not flickering as well expected 
ici. Alright. So yeah, I will stop this episode at this point. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to do. Mm. Should I do any smoothing out here? Yeah, so maybe uh, here I can do some small thing, but the initial part would be camera position and the target is camera offset. Ah, so position of rotation. Now we should have a smooth pull back behavior. But going closer, I don't think I can smooth it because it should go sudden. Closer it must not be smooth because I can't do that. Because if I do that, then I will, at some point the camera will be inside some object. And I will stop this episode at this point. So if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link will be in the description below. And you will be able to access source code of this project freely if you are a patron. And Alright, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.